Hey guys, coming to you like a Jerry Springer moments uh, segment here. Just want, quickly, I just want to give you some um, productivity tips and some inspirational material. So on to our, the goals and productivity tips. I'd like to recommend starting a monthly journal. You know, as in the past, I guess you could say at the beginning of the year, people started, you know, life goals or goals, resolutions, all that garbage. Um, I don't believe in resolutions. They're too, it's too cliche. It's, you know, follow the terms of the, the sheep. Sheep follow sheep and then fall off the cliff and then die. So you don't want to fall off the cliff and die. Don't be a sheep. Um, and you can create your own system, but this is something that's been working for me. I started monthly journals. I put the date on the, the notebook and then and make sure it's at least 70 pages so that way you can at least you can at least have one page or two pages for every day of the month um, just make sure it's 70 pages and you should be good to go write your your daily goals in there your schedule your fears make sure you get your fears down in these notebooks because you need you're going to be revisiting this material towards the um, and you can adjust your review periods but um, at the end of the month, you, you're going to review everything you've written in your journal, and then you're going to see how f how far you what you've accomplished, what you've taken away for the, from certain things, and then you can build upon those the next month. Or if they they've already been conquered for that month, then great. Then you can set them as squared away done. So that's my January, is my February. Um, again, um, make sure there are at least seventy sheets. I got like a whole box of notebooks off of eBay from it's brand new for like twenty bucks, so you can find them really cheap. Um, alternative way is you could create like a Google Drive account and you could type your stuff in there. But um, I like the pen and pad. It feels like it's a little bit more uh, personal, more accountable. Keeps yourself more accountable for that, and it's more personal with the pad and pen. So that's on the whole goals and productivity side. Then I want to give you social media. Um, productivity tips. Now this may be a shocker for some, but you should try. Turn off all social media no app notifications on your smartphone, your tablet, whatever is constantly nagging you, bugging you, distracting you from here in the moment now life. Turn that, turn those damn notifications off. Send, make sure all notifications are enabled or have email notifications. So this is what we want to do. We want to make sure all your social media notifications are in one honeypot, one spot where you can go to at your convenience and get your updates and see what you need to jump into, what you need to update, what do you need to take part of. Um, and so that's why you set all notifications go to your email address. Nice thing about Gmail, it'll get you a social tab and you can scroll through that and see what's been going on throughout the day. You don't have to worry about your phone blowing up, your smartwatch blowing up because all these retweets and favorites. Um, you'll be like, woohoo! But um, really, you just uh, stop the addiction, stop the ego boosting, and just set it. How I do it is, I even have my, my email notification turned off on my phone because I set it where, or I set myself, not see, that we're, we're setting things on, on the human side, not, not on the smartphone or technology side. I set myself in the morning, I give myself 25, 30 minutes. I got a block of time in the morning, that's where I handle social media. I go through my email inbox, see what's going on. Some things from the previous night or the early morning before um, someone someone beat me to waking up. Then I can see what's going on. Then I got another time at usually around noon, usually when I eat lunch. And then towards the end of the day, towards the end of my work day, I'll do another recap of social media um, shindig notifications. And that really keeps me focused and in the moment of what you're working on, the projects you're working on, whether you're spending time with family or you're working, or you're out snowboarding, or you're out in the ocean. That really keeps me focused more in the moment of life, and not one of those those neck peckers you see in public. They're constantly like, looks like there's looks like there's a they're holding like a, a I don't know, again, they're holding food in their hand. They're just ready to peck it. You know, they're like they're they're like halfway, and they're just ready to peck that peck the food out. But um, so I hope that helps. And down below in the description, I'll send the, I'll put a link in there that'll actually be a link to inspirational audio from uh, Eric Thomas and Les Brown. 
uh, very inspirational guys and all I did was just audio rip from like an hour two hour videos I compiled it nicely I just strip ripped it for y'all put it in my Google Drive box sharing it out and then there's a free book um, in there as well so I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching